Hello and welcome to Sunday's edition of Wardy's Waffle. This update is mainly taken up with the harvesting of our Capulet beans, which we did manage to get done this week. Um, some of you will have seen that from the two live videos I've, I, I did when we were doing them. I just wanted to apologise because the first one there was some the signal wasn't brilliant and I kept I think it kept breaking up once or twice and uh, and freezing. But the second one that there was no sound and I didn't realise there was no sound until very nearly the end when I spotted someone had said. Uh, there wasn't any sound and I think what the problem was when I started to do it or just before I started to do it I'd only got nine percent battery on my phone so I plugged an external uh, power source into my phone walked alongside the combine and was doing the live update while I was charging my phone but I didn't realize that I think it was that that stopped the microphone from working I'm not sure whether that's right or not it's an iPhone 14 Pro that I use those uh, more techy people than me might know that's what happened, but I didn't realise at the time that plugging an external uh, power source in would disable the microphone, and I think that's what caused it. So I do apologise um, if that spoilt your viewing of the uh, harvesting of these beans. Anyway, I've got quite a lot of updates and other videos in this update, so hopefully you won't miss out. If you see this uh, this update, you'll you'll uh, see what we've got and got them all done. So we look at the harvesting of those beans. Also, I've got Eric from the university from Warwick University came uh, to have a look around, look at the beans as well, and take some samples home with him. And also in this update, we touch on sugar harvesting as well but we've got rain uh, at the minute now just starting again so i'm really glad we've got these beans done but anyway thanks very much for watching let's see you at the end if you make it there and uh, please click like share and subscribe and we'll see you in a few minutes so the harvesting of these special beans the capulet beans godiva and olivia for the uh, baking market and cooking market the varieties is a go we've got the plot combine in the background just cutting out the corners it's going to breed up the field here to separate the two varieties here. So we're going to get our combine, or rather the 9.90 uh, .9 New Holland that Russell's, our local dealer, lends us in the corner with a McDonald header. We're going to get going in these shortly, so we'll see how we get on. So just looking at the two varieties, this is Godiva on the right. You can see the pods, very long pods, but also very low to the ground. If you look at these, they're on the ground, some of these. So this is why they take some picking up. We'll get one of those pods. And then across here, we have the Capulet, which this is the variety that will go to make baked beans. So there's a pod there. Let's get a Capulet pod. There, there we go. So you see the difference in pod sizes. So we'll open that up, if I can do that one-handed. There we go. There, and then we'll do the same with the capula if they'll stay put there we go that's a good pod that is so there's the variety so the, the very light colored ones are the ones to go into baked beans and these are for cooking so the only field in the uk of these varieties at the minute and at the moment we use two million tins a day of baked beans and they are all imported from canada america and china so looking at justin and the plot combine you can see here is that a go with some you can see how low we're having to go and there's got some soil this is going to be the problem getting soil in the combine you can see there and obviously in the sample which we don't want another bit there Nala Nala come here good girl Frankie you can see you now in this crop just see here how low Let's just get how low these are if you look at my hand that's my hand there not very tall and on the floor as well some of them are quite a lot of feet being left on the floor but it is very much a balancing act because we want a clean sample without any soil so you might have to leave some beans to get that you see there it's blocked up just in the corner but hopefully when we get the new holland running with the mcdonald header that might be better but we just don't know yet we're not going to do much of this combine we're going to do all the rest with the 
New Holland with the McDon header. Just try and get as many beans as we can. So Justin's going to empty these in this hopper. So the bit of a mixture of two varieties in there, Cacola and Godiva. We go. Got Lindsay Smith here from BBC. I've known Lindsay a long while, I do a lot with Lindsay. She's always good value and always come out and do farming stories for us if there's anything to promote with farming and food production. Rhonda as well is there doing some videos for the NFU. So that's the plot combine doing some plots. We didn't get that rolled, you can just see the combine bobbing up and down a bit because the rain beat us to it, we couldn't get it rolled. This is when we planted the crop. You see how the header flexes. This is the idea and the beauty of these headers. You can see there how it contours, it's not straight, it's not bent. That's how they're meant to be, so they can contour, hook the ground, and this is why they are so good. What they're doing now, they're angling the knife down and tipping it forward so that the knife is hugging the soil. So we've got um, cameraman ITV, I've just done a bit for calendar. Cameraman Paul, I know him well. So these are, we'll have a look at what variety these are when they come out. These are the Olivia. So there we have, these are the black ones you can see. And a bit of soil in here, this is a problem, well there's quite a bit of soil there when you look at that, so we don't want that on the capillar. We don't really want it on these either, but we'll, uh, these will clean, they'll be able to, and then we'll get the uh, big bit of soil out. See that, haven't done Paul doing a bit for ITV. Now I'm just trying to catch them. Just emptying some into the trailer because we've got about set up now it's taken us nearly the length of the field we've got a few split ones in here and uh, can't see in so I can't climb up because of my legs so you'll just have to take my word for it um, yes yeah, so we've got a few split ones we're using this trailer to put the waste in there'll be a few splits a few bit of soil and bits and bobs and other varieties so we're using it to put the uh, waste in this trailer we're doing a really good job here getting getting a lot of pods, there's a few left but when they get blocked up there they leave a few but now they've got off the headlands and get going up and down they're doing a really really good job
looking at the floor now after the combine's gone over. Or gone, you know, harvested the crop. You can see it's doing a good job because the pods, that pod's empty. That's empty. A lot of these are empty. There will be the odd full one. No, that's empty. There we go. I think they've, yeah, they've got some in. No, that's empty. These are all empty pods. I'm really pleased with how this is going at the minute. There's Justin with a little plot combine. This is in the companion crop that we're going to be going in next. Got to clean the combine out when we uh, do this. This is, this is Capulet as well, but this is with black oats. We've got a variety over there to do, which is the Godiva. So we've got to clean the combine out in a minute when we get these done, but going well. Just in the cab now, just finishing off the, um, the companion crop. Only a little strip left here now. You can see in the window there's the beans. Can't quite see it very well because of the reflection though. So we're now cleaning out the combine. Uh, we're cleaning the combine out to go on to this other variety. And then we've got the Godiva to do, which is the blonde coloured bean, that plot just through there, just this side that hopper. So um, we've got Justin's cleaning out the plot combine as well. So it's six o'clock, something like that, Thursday evening. Hopefully get these finished before dark. So that's got them all finished. They're just cleaning a few things out. Just dropped the plate under the header. Perfect shot there of the undulation of the header, how it curves. It's not bent, it's how it's meant to be. And then it straightens out when they drop it on the floor. You see there or not? In the locket we're going on to the header trailer closing the tank lids it's just starting to rain tailborn cloud across there it lifts up really high this header does it simple as that I just missed that bit just taking it off very easy taking these headers off the combine that's what's called a header but it's it's interesting in Australia that's called a front and that is called the header <laughs> just different terminology in different countries so regular viewers will recognize Eric Eric um, wasn't here. We harvested the beans you've just seen in this video earlier. We managed to get these beans harvested yesterday. Unfortunately, Eric couldn't be here. He was just finishing a week's holiday up in Scotland. So Eric, great to see you again. Fantastic. And you've got the samples here. Great success, isn't it, Bean, that we managed to get these uh, harvested in the conditions we've had. We've had rain every day for the last two weeks nearly. Varying forms went yesterday. Rain, you can see, we've got puddles down here. Uh, it's wet, we had three millimetres last night, but we've got a fantastic sample of beans. Absolutely, that, that, the story is just looking at the capulet, it's looking really clean, quite shiny, uh, but fantastic looking harvest. They are, I mean, when you look at those, they are, there's very, very few stains on them, is there? Yeah. And uh, they look really bright, bold samples. So um, the idea of these is we're going to be doing some canning trials with these um, in the next uh, next few weeks. Yeah. Actually, looking at your live videos as I was driving south uh, yesterday, I'm really impressed by how well the Macdon header took the beans off the ground. Absolutely, I really mean, clean. wasn't it? Yeah, and yeah. and you, you, yeah. For those of you who haven't seen those, go on to the live videos. Um, as I've already mentioned at the start of this one, uh, apologies for having no sound. I'm not quite sure why, but maybe it was because I had the external charger plugged in. I don't know, but you'll get a gist of what we've what we've done. But that Macdon header, as you've seen, was just something else, and we wouldn't have got the level of the number of beans we've got and the cleanliness without it, would we? Absolutely. No. And even you know the Godiva we've been looking at the last few weeks, how close yeah. low to the ground the pods were yeah, yeah. lying on the ground. And even that looks yeah. like the McDonald's yeah. picked up. Picked them up. Yeah. And yeah, it's and here we are. There's there's the Godiva you can see there. And this is for the sort of the, the cooking market to put in stews and casseroles and that sort of thing. And again, uh, they, they need cleaning up, a few little bits of uh, odd touch, a little bit of soil, a bit of debris of stems and leaves, but really, really, really good sample. Yeah. And then, the, and then the other one, the Olivia. The Olivia, the black bean, 
It's got a bit of soil on on the seed, but that's going to polish up. Yeah. Once that's dried, it's going to yeah. polish yeah. up pretty well. A little well. bit staining on there, but they'll, they'll polish up, as Eric, Eric said. So, verdict really, hugely successful. Absolutely. Yeah, mm. equipment-wise, variety-wise, yeah, the genetics is working in these varieties actually are very well suited for growing in this country. Yeah. Uh, the, the issue that with the Godiva being low to the ground, that's not genetics. That was something to do with the way yeah. the timing that was actually drilled. Yeah. That's easily the sold for next year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just looking at, if you want to have a look at Yes. It. I'll just turn the camera around here. So these would be, these are plants that are going up from our farm, grown in a lighter soil. Uh, this is the Godiva. And uh, in our soil, much taller than what happened, what we had here this year. Yeah. Uh, but a McDonald header would have very easily taken all the pods, yep. cutting about that sort of level. Yeah. Uh, same with Olivia. We had slightly taller plants than we had here, but the important thing is this variety, all the pods are at the top. McDonald's going to come and cut around there. Yeah. Everything's going to go into the So the Olivia is the black beans we've got in here, and then the Godiva is the blonde, blonde bean here. And then but, this. But I think the message is, you know, Capulet works just as well. Yes, right? it does. Look at that. Stunning. That was your main crop this year. Yeah. And you've got something that can yeah. be Yeah. I think maybe yield wise, possibly we have got off this because we've got an area across there not harvested. You can see there. We had other trials as well. So the whole field's only four and a half hectares. Uh, so there's, there's probably only maybe three hectares or maybe even a bit less than that. Um, two, and, two and a half on your Yeah, line. two and a half. That's right. So I think. We've probably end up with maybe maybe two tons a hectare of the uh, of the um, capulet, maybe something like that. Which uh, it'd be nice to have got more, but as a first time, I think there's lots we can learn, lots to do more next year. And I'm just looking at the sample. There isn't much cleaning that's needed. No, when you look at that, I know. Look at that there. Yeah, just just really really lovely. When you look at those beans, there, how clean they are. So, Eric, just to finish off, what are we sort of planning for the winter, this, and promoting what, what we've got here? Well, the job doesn't stop after the harvest. No. Yet. So we're certainly looking, in our end at the university, we're looking at sort of events, working with people and yeah. communities and public. Yeah. Uh, really important to have a farmer like yourself come and speak mm. about your experience growing the varieties. Mm. So we need to do some planning for over the winter. Yeah. Most importantly is taking all the lessons from what you've learned, mm. what we've learned on our farm, mm. and figure out how much we're mm. going to grow next year mm. with the seed that you've harvested. Yeah and actually start looking at the numbers mm. of volume that would be going into food next yes. year and what's being saved mm. for seed uh, for subsequent And of years. course, the biggest thing as well is, look, we say the numbers, the financial numbers as well, where we need Absolutely. to be and all yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. So yeah, so, you know, we've seen Eric from Warwick University a few times on this video. So thanks for coming, Eric. It's great to meet you. We've got a great friendship going and a good association. So uh, I think- and the plenty of sunshine. Yeah, friend, it's, <laughs> Eric said when he came, it's always sunny when he comes here, but it wasn't last night when, yeah. when, when we finished combining. But anyway, no, you'll see Eric uh, throughout the winter when I go to Warwick Uni and uh, do some of the things we're looking at planning. So. Thanks very much, Eric, for coming in the association and all the viewers. A lot of great comments on here from all the videos yeah, you've been, been involved in. Great, thank you. Good to know a farmer. Yeah, brilliant. It's Friday afternoon. Another lorry just loaded up for some wheat. This is the start of the October contract, so they've come early. It's going to a local mill near us that Moy Park now own. It's a farm mill called Porter's, but Moy Park just bought it. Anyway, just behind me, you'll see we've got house and van here. We've got problems with our sprayer. Not the new sprayer, I hasten to add. This is the old sprayer. So I'll just turn the camera around and just uh, explain what's what's happening. So we've got Jim here, hard at it, hope it won't be ready before it's done. We've got, the problem we've had is the bearing support here for the compressor. You can hear, hear how noisy that is, the bearing's gone. Dropped iron filings in the sump, which caused the oil pump to go. You can see that's the oil pump and that's sticks there. So Jim's put a new oil pump in, new, uh, bearing support there for the compressor we've got a larger compressor on it to work the air because obviously we've got airbags here next to Jim so we've got airbags on all the um, axles all the wheel above all the wheel motors so um, yeah hopefully our new sprayer will be coming I think about next week so we'll get this fixed and then we've got a lot of glyphosate to put on in the next two or three days got this on his head take the wheel off got it all jacked up and supported up underneath Got the lorry just rolled up to beat. This is the cleaner loader that the contractors are using. Nala! Nala's trying to go in all the mud. We've had three millimeters of rain last night, which didn't help. So all this can be controlled from the loader cab. It's fantastic, the whole machine. 
Nala here. Nala's trying to get to the beat heat, but as you can see, with the rain we've had, she'll get lathered up. So yeah, not ideal with the rain we've had overnight. Anyway, I'll go through this more in detail uh, for next week's video, but just to show you roughly what we're doing. And as I said, never tipped beat on a field before, we could have done without it, without the rain. But the reason we've ticked it on the field is because we've got planings on the beat pad. Anyway, we'll have a proper look at this next week, just, just a teaser for you. And the idea of having this red CTM machine, it cleans it, it takes a lot of the soil and the stones and the clods out. The white haricot beans are imported from North America because they can't be grown in the UK climate. The seeds of this new crop have taken scientists at Warwick University over a decade to breed. We're importing beans at the moment from Canada, America and China to make bait beans. And that is really wrong. We need more homegrown food, homegrown protein. Going to the factory and tasting them and seeing how they're cooked, how they mix the tomato sauce and how they are, are produced and put onto toast. That's what I really want to try. I want to sit and have baked beans, these beans, on toast. There we are, Baked Bean News on, <laughs> on the programme tonight. Now, thanks for all the... Uh, and thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this update. And again, apologise for the live videos and we'll see you midweek.